And welcome back to the GEA UWS versus GEA ECNL 05 match up here, the scrimmage between the two teams in the club. I'm Aaron Hogue bringing you all the action. This is just a scrimmage, once again, if you're joining us uh, from halftime here. The UWS regular conference game was canceled, and so in lieu of that, the 05 team is getting ready to head to Nationals. So they thought they could get some work in against a really good group of girls in the UWS. The second half is underway here. UWS in white. And the 05 in black. Now the 05 team actually has 2004s, 2005s, and 2006s to kind of fill in the roster. Of course the 05 team will be just going with 05 players to the national playoffs here in a few weeks. We wish them all the best of luck. It's always a fun time to be able to go down and actually this year they're going up to Seattle to play, so that'll be a great place. Samaya so Hogue is the goalkeeper in for the 05 club. Kenzie Smith, goalkeeper for the UWS squad. On Deary, looking to get a goal. Good footwork by Mondiri. There's Castens playing it over into the middle. Samai so having to come out, pick the ball up. Or it looks like Hadavi is the one that is coming in. Munda Defini plays it to Carpenter in the middle. Carpenter makes a move, takes a shot, very long shot. Kinsey Smith able to easily get the ball. Ball out to Mondiri eventually. There's Howie Mallon, number 26. Over to Reagan Zimmers, Zimmers plays it back. Some Kenzie Smith. Smith back to Zimmers. Good job from Ava Jellen to header the ball. Kennedy Sullivan putting pressure on along with Kama Carpenter. Ball on the left side. Number 34, Alyssa Keller wide open on the side. Bohr having to work in. Good job by the defenders, by Sullivan to step in front of it. And Carpenter just kind of takes an errant touch there. I don't know if her cleats stuck in the carpet there or not. There's Clareness. Number 14. Two number 14s out there. Ava Jellen. There's Mondiri. Takes the shot. Samaya with the save. Good shot. Good save. Samaya. Punts the ball. Good punt. Over half. The 05 team able to eventually win the ball. Off the second touch. Ooh. Oh, that's Ava Jellen. Kind of took a tough slide there into the carpet. Give her some time here to work it off. She appears to be okay. She will come off the field just to be safe. 
and a number, another number 14 out on the field. I believe that's uh, someone from the 06. Apologize for not having all the names from the 06 players. Miss with the throw in. Sullivan plays it to Boer. Boer has time. She has space, plays it to Carpenter. Carpenter moves it up. Reese Boer with the shot. Just goes a little wide. So Mackenzie Smith plays it short. Smith had her hands full during that Sporting Nebraska match. Bath gives it to Lamanji. Zimmers with the ball. Zimmers plays it up to Hallie Malum. Malum's got Castens. Castens plays it into the 18. And shot goes wide. Goal kick for Samaya Hogue. Plays it in the middle. <laughs> That's number 30, Sienna Davis, there, who eventually gets it to Carpenter. And here's Keely Yeager. Yeager gets a little contact. McKenzie coming out of the box. The UWS team under a little bit of pressure there. Throwing for the 05 UCNL team. Clarence with the throwing. Carpenter with the ball. Pressure on her. See if she's able to find somebody there. And draws the foul right outside of the 18. Let's see if the 05 team's able to do anything with it here. Tess Barron's going to take the kick here. Kenzie Smith, looking at it. UWS not feeling too much pressure, and Barron's gets a clear shot, just not able to put her head down and strike through. So goal kick for Mackenzie Smith. Smith, kind of her trademark, just kind of picks it up, puts the ball right off the back line and plays it short most of the time. Very quick way to get the ball back in play. Is Ostergaard. Ostergaard having Castens. That's a heck of a shot right over Samaya. She's kind of in no man's land there. Another goal for the UWS. Again, we are keeping track of the score, but really it doesn't matter for anything. This is just a just a practice of sorts, just a scrimmage between the two club the two teams in the club here. So if anything, it's just getting me the opportunity to do stuff. Kira Chaffee takes a shot. Could have been a handball in the box, but Kind of doing double duty here. He takes another shot. And ball goes out. 
goal kick for Kinsey Smith. Smith plays it short. There's Ostergaard. Ostergaard plays it back. Smith plays it out wide. And ball goes out of bounds for the UWS. Throw in for the 05 girls. Carpenter with the ball, plays it to Kennedy. Kennedy, Kennedy Sullivan, just maybe one too many touches. Ball goes back to Mackenzie Smith. Smith plays it short to Zimmers. Zimmers to Ostergaard. Ostergaard out to Malm. And Zimmers plays it up. He's trying to get it to Mondiri maybe to chase it down. Barons with the kick out. Reese Bohr is going to play it back to Samaya Hogue. Samaya plays it in the middle. Back to Barons. Barons out to Bohr. Bohr with a little bit of pressure. Tess Barons having to really step into that ball. Mondiri was right on her back shoulder and Wait, just waiting for that ball to kind of take a weird bounce. Good ball movement here. Let's see if they can get a shot off. There's a shot that eventually comes out, but very high and very wide. We got some changes coming here. Looks like Tess Barons is coming out, number 14. Uh, Ava Jellin is back in after Kind of getting tied up in the turf earlier on. It looks like Sophia Lamangi came off as well for the UWS squad. Good pressure by London Defini. Mounts in throw in for the 05 girls. So we have Boris throwing the ball in here. Gets it to Chaffee. And just goes off her foot for a goal kick for the DPS goalkeeper Mackenzie Smith. Hope you're enjoying the uh, broadcast here on 11 Sports. Our partner for all home matches on the UWS. Bruce Boer calls for it, gets it, has a few on her back. Gets it over to Jelen. Jelen has a few people she can get it to, unfortunately. Maybe keeps it on her foot a little too long. So UWS has it with Mondiri probably in an offside position, but it's hard to say when you don't have any ARs. Defini fighting for it, getting the header. Ostergaard clears it to Castens. Castens to Mondiri. Mondiri 1v1 with Samaya. And there's another goal. Samaya should have probably came out and challenged, but so it goes. the kick after a goal from Mondiri and catching Samaya Hogue in no man's land. Recorda fighting for it. 
Kassens with the ball, gets it to Ostergaard. Ball gets played wide. A lot of players trying to get back. Looks like Lamangi's there. Maurice Bohr able to get a good tackle. Got a corner kick here for UWS squad. So Samaya Hogue's going to get her players marked up. Right into the six. Reese Borg, good on the clear. Came with Carpenter, eventually gets it. Looking for some separation. Sonora, Defini, playing it into the middle where Chaffee is. Hotovy playing shoulder to shoulder. Is able to dispossess that ball. Unfortunately, no one to go to. So throw in for the 05 girls. London Nafini gets it to Kama Carpenter. Carpenter goes out to Bree Corda. Corda back into the middle, into pressure. And the ball again goes by way of the UWS. It's my Hogue telling Reese Bohr, her defender, she has time. Reese, good step up to receive the ball, plays it back to Samaya Hogue. Samaya plays it wide. Good space, good finding space there. Carpenter, Carpenter up to Sonora Defini. And Sonora's shot just goes a little wide. Looks like it's going to be a goal kick for Smith. Looks like we're going to have a few players coming in for the 05 team. Looks like Mia Tatton is going to be coming in as well as Tess Behrens. Oh, they I guess called the corner kick. And kick goes right into waiting hands of Mackenzie Smith. Mondiri plays it back. Just a bit of a reset here for the UWS squad in white. Ball gets switched. Intercepted there from Defini. Plays it up top. Header from Sonora Defini. Dispossessed and back to UWS. Jenna Hanabi moves it up to Beth Guevara. She's able to play it down the sideline. Mondiri just not able to get her foot on it. Claire Nis plays it up. Ostergaard able to intercept. Three quarter with a little bit of pressure. Able to get the ball back for her squad. 
Carpenter plays it out. Kira Chaffee plays it into the 18. No one there. Zimmers plays it through the midfield. Eventually the team has to bring it back. Push the guard with pressure on. Back to Zimmers. Zimmers takes her space. She's got a runner. And she's on. It's Lamangi. Lamangi takes a shot just over. So a goal kick for Samaya Hogue. Looks like those uh, players are coming in now. Maya with the goal kick. Manji wins the ball eventually. UWS possesses. They're playing a little more direct now. Maybe trying to test the uh, younger players in the backfield. It's Carpenter. Carpenter gets it out to Corda. Corda back to Carpenter. Carpenter with the shot, just goes over. Goal kick for Mackenzie Smith. Gunderson comes in. As does Anna Jennings. Looks like Reagan Zimmers is coming off now. Hadovy plays it back to Smith, Smith to Hadovy. The 05 team is doing a good job of being patient, but also keeping themselves positioned to where they can win the ball back after a errant touch. There's Sonora Defini. Putting pressure. Mondiri, number 12, plays it back to Ostergaard. Ostergaard plays it out. Natalie Malum back to Ostergaard. Able to get around Corda. Beth Guevara. Plays it out wide. Here comes the shot. Smy with the save. He rolls it out to Tess Barons. I believe that was Grace Crockett, number two, with the uh, shot on goal. Gunderson in the middle there. Plays it to Hadovy. Back to Gunderson. Gunderson takes her space. A few of these girls were actually playing on the 04 team with uh, Reese Borer and Barons and Smya Hogue. The uh, Gunderson and Lauren Schmidt. So players very familiar with each other. Good job to retain possession here by the younger players in the black. Chaffee on the sideline there. Now has double coverage. And Kenzie Smith able to come out and grab the ball after number 30, Sienna Davis, takes the shot. Gunderson with the ball.
GWS still maintaining possession. Putting together a lot of passes here. Plays it down the sideline back in the middle where Mondari is. Mondari has two on now. The 05 girls are able to get the ball back, at least for the time being. Chaffee with the ball. Plays it back. Reese Bohr. Three quarter plays it back. Sonora Feeney plays it back. Mackenzie Smith calling for it. Got another substitution on the fly. Looks like Lauren Schmidt's coming in for Grace Ostergaard. Looks like both Lamangi sisters are on as well. And Grace Crockett is heading off the pitch. Sullivan. Sullivan again trying to get that ball. We'll get a corner out of it. Corner for the ECNL squad. Tess Barons will take the corner kick. Here's the kick. Puts it right into the six. Kenzie comes out and is able to get her knee up and save the cross. Plays it short. Ottavi gives it back. They're going to switch it. Gunderson with the ball now. Gunderson plays it back to Smith. Smith over to Ottavi. Ottavi plays it out wide. Mondiri. Again, no ARs since this is just a scrimmage. Tess Barons gives a pretty fair amount of space there. Defini. Sonora Defini able to work hard to get the ball cleared at least to half. There's Gunderson. Out to Malum. We have a goal kick. Smyah Hogue with a goal kick. Quick play to Tess Barons. Barons plays it up. Gives it to Brie Corda. Another drop. Barron's taking her space. There's a lot of it here in the middle now. Unfortunately, just maybe one too many touches. Gets it back, though. And unfortunate. It's Maya playing up high. Kind of gets lucky there from having her defender. I think Mondiri take maybe a stronger touch than she was hoping to take. Came a carpenter. A little bit of separation here. Tries to get it to Corda. Unfortunately, not able to. UWS has the ball now. On Deary trying to chase down. She does get the ball. Takes it into the 18. Kicks it out. To Lamangi. Lamangi to Keller. Keller to Schmidt. Schmidt goes to Malum. 
Mallon back into Lamangi. Lauren Schmidt with the ball. Just has to turn and reset. Here's Mallon. There's a cross from Mondiri. Samaya gets that ball. Mondiri is probably off, but don't have any AR, so that's okay. It's just a scrimmage. I want to give a little shout out to me and Tad, number four in the defense. She's got her hands full with Lamangi out there, so she's doing a really good job of. Just keeping everything in front of her. <laughs> Have a throw in here for the ECNL squad as we had a substitution for both squads. Carpenter plays it up. Snore Defini not able to get a foot on it. Smith plays it out wide to Malum. Malum back. Smith sends it up to Lauren Schmidt. Schmidt sends it out to Maggie Gunderson. Gunderson to Lamangi and back. Bath number 22 sends it out. Sun in the eyes over there. Gunderson. Gunderson has Schmidt. Schmidt has time to turn. She has the speed. Mondiri. Tess Barron's able to almost get the ball out completely. Tess clears it. Sullivan maybe got a piece of it there. Now Carpenter tries to get it back to Sullivan. Sullivan able to get it off of her foot. And the younger team is able to possess for a little bit longer. Hadavi able to win the ball eventually. Mondiri against Tess Barons here. Takes a shot. And Samaya with the save. A good shot. Another good save by goalkeeper Samaya Hogue. Punts it out, gets it to Carpenter. Carpenter gives it short to Bree Corda. Corda out the number 13 there. Mondiri able to get the ball. Lisa Keller holding it, sends it back. I believe that's Sophia Lamangi. Lamangi loses it. Carpenter has space. She has players. There's a couple of good moves and elects to take the shot. And that is a save for Mackenzie Smith. So Kama doing a good job of moving that ball, utilizing her quick feet. Good pressure by Sullivan. Ball goes out. It is a goal kick. And it looks like Sydney Casalia is coming in as a field player now. So that's kind of fun to see. These are the kind of things that you get to see when you get to uh, do scrimmages and things of that sort. 
not for anything more than just the enjoyment of the game. Salia chasing down Corda. That's a goal kick. Talked to a lot of folks here who have uh, been watching some of these older players for years, and the consensus is that Sidney Casalia is by far and away one of the most athletic female athletes who's ever come out of Omaha. And we'll probably get to see how she interacts here shortly. Yes, there she is with the ball. Salyu says, I'm tired already. She might have a chance to take a shot here. Good block by number 13. <laughs> Looks like the O5s have maybe found their, their groove a little bit more here in this second half. Just need to find the back of the net at some point here. And Daffini tries to get it to Sullivan. There's Lamangi. Lamangi with Tatten on her back. And Lauren Schmidt versus Tess. Tess drops it back to Samaya. He's got Casalia streaking in. Maya's able to get it off though. Good slide tackle. Looks like Bree Corda's coming off. Hot if he plays it. Deep, deep, deep to Smith. Smith just takes her time. Plays it into the middle. Sullivan's able to intercept it, though. Kama has space. Slips a little bit. Gunderson with the ball. Gets it up to Keller. Reese Bohr able to intercept that errant pass. That's number 21, Ab Abigail Ferici. There that just couldn't find anybody and eventually ball went to Smith's feet. Beth plays it back to Smith. Smith finds Lauren Schmidt. Schmidt's able to turn with the ball, takes the space. Looking for Casalia, but not able to get it. Tess Barons moves up with the attacking group. And ball goes wide. Smith plays it out to Hadvi. Hadvi plays it wide to Lamangi. Lamangi to Beth. Salia tries for it. A lot of players, players in black. Tess Barons. Oh. Salia clips Barons. So, free kick here for Barons. She's going to look to put it into the 18. She 
she does. Sullivan there, just not able to get a piece of it. So goal kick for Smith. As we're starting to get into the latter part of the match here. It's been a fun one. Gunderson plays it back to Smith. Smith has space in the middle. Good pressure by the 05 team. Lauren Schmidt. There's Lamanji. She's got Tad in front of him. In front of her. Mia trying her best to just keep Lamanji in front. Does a good job. A little bumping. That ball actually goes out on Lamanji, so. And that is the end of the second half. So, scrimmage between UWS Gretna Elite Academy versus the 05. 06, 04 players, and smiles, handshakes all around for both teams.